Hey everyone, Gengar here. So today I have a video for you on the P51. I had a super fun match in it in AB. Some nice sequences in there and some nice examples of the tactic you should use in this plane. So we're gonna see what it can do. I'll see you in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. We're in the P51. 20 mm cannons we're gonna fly this entertaining match we are climbing for altitude I'm flying with uh, Eagle knife and uh, we're at we will have a nice game here on this one airfield domination map now we did get the altitude and there is no contenders and that's a good thing because this thing doesn't have the super best climb rate in the world but if nobody climbs with you hey I'm, I'm very willing to go boom and zooming with it and wreck havoc on the enemy team now we're gonna choose one of these four targets here underneath us and we're gonna decide that as we go down which target looks the best turns out it's gonna be this BF 109 locking in for the kill here uh, but we get the assist unfortunately that should have been our first kill by all rights but somebody else got there ahead of us uh, somebody I did not see anyway we take it straight back up into the vertical with this plane you need to fly in the vertical in the sense that once you have altitude you want to keep it and you don't want to forget that I see a nice situation develop here on my right hand side here three enemy fighters following one and there's another little group moving that way so we're gonna go for the Spitfire here my first kill the P-51 who's going up trying to aim up at somebody my second kill and there we have this Thunderbolt here who just shot down an ally of mine I'm too late to save him but I can't take revenge for my third kill and that was a nice pass We have a BF-109 behind us. Eagle Knife calls it out for me. But of course uh, I saw him. But that's what you need from teammates. We weren't on comms here but uh, to warn you in these situations is always good. Always fun. I'm trying to climb a little bit more here. BF-109 wants to come up with me. I don't have that much speed but I do point my nose up to see how much energy he has. He doesn't have much. And he's approached from the side by a BF-109 and killed in a very low energy state. Which also says something about the situational awareness of, of that guy who was not aware of the BF-109 on his left. Which he should have been if he was to climb for me. Ankle 112 here, easy target, was climbing up. I don't know if he was looking at something or just the sky. That was just uh, too easy. We have a P-51 on our 6. But we have more energy than him. And we are extending. Mr. Tunnel in his BF-109 is approaching him as well. Let's see if he gets shot down by him. He actually does and that's the second time Tunnel down there. That takes advantage of people aiming up at me. Which is good for him and nice that we could cooperate in that sense but again situational awareness of the people pointing up towards me leaves something to be desired right? If that was me I would be super angry with myself for not seeing that situation develop. So be aware guys once you point up to somebody you know your energy is going to drop and make sure that there is no other people around you that can take advantage of your weakness in that moment you may be able to get the guy you're aiming for but if you get shot down before that time it has all been for nothing I see another nice situation develop here with three or four guys on the tail of one of our guys I always love these little trains you can get so many kills at once in these with these things if you have the nice approach I'm a little bit too steep here of course I do get the dough here 
Shoot off his right wing. And I go into the vertical for the Spitfire. But decide not to go down for him. D decide to just swirl up a little bit to get a little bit more altitude. As I dive down again, I see this Yak-7 approach going for the BF-109. I save my ally there. It's another BF-109. My aim slightly too high there. Get a few sparkles on his fuselage, but nothing more. And the assist. And the moment I look at this XP-50, I get shot from behind. Good that I look backwards as well, because it just gives me the time enough to respond. I roll out of the way of his shots and go to a defensive. And from the sound I hear, he's been shot by one of my allies. And the XP-50, as I check above me, has also been shot down. So there's nobody above us right now. As uh, Eagle Knife also uh, found himself in this general area. So we're flying back into the battlefield. This Doe was an easy target. And we're going to continue straight ahead on the BF-109 there. Who's after the MiG-3. And again we're going to try to save our ally here. Going to get a nice deflection shot here. And we get the kill. If you lead correctly in this plane you will definitely kill people <laughs> easily you will shred them to pieces eight kills at the moment use your web a lot as well in this plane because it doesn't have the best climb rate but web webbing a lot does help in it did you see that error there the plane uh, appearing and disappearing there's been some graphical glitches here and there patch 1.53 we have 109 got him I call 112 second kill and triple kill. Yes, we get the leg too. Nice. When you see this little train develop, make sure you pick up the last guy on that little train. And then when you swoop in from altitude, you have the possibility to gain on every single one of them. So you can make these nice sequences. Don't jump in on the first one. Look who is the last enemy in the train jump on his tail from above and just go from one to the other it, it's a great tactic let's see we're climbing here a lot of people of the enemy team finally decide that altitude is important but too little too late I think look at the, the ticket counter it's going down really quickly on the enemy team we have held that airfield for a long long time several enemy fighters beneath us again let's go for the CR-42 here it looks like a nice juicy target low and slow he does turn one last time before he dies but we're trying to get a shot here on the A1 and we do get him there before he can do any damage Spitfire it's a terrible turner. I don't want to be close to that guy <laughs> in it in a turn fight. The typhoon, we crit him, put him on fire. He's going down. He's burning nicely. Fire doesn't go out. We finish off the kill. We're going here for our 15 kill. Pit fire mark one. But that's the end of the match, and, and we don't get him, unfortunately. It could have been our 15 kill and with that first missed kill it could have been 16 but hey, we didn't get that first one so forget about it. 14 kills top of the team, 73,000 silver lions. Very nice match. We have Hero of the Sky, Survivor and the best squad. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey everyone, Jengar here. So that was a fun match, a really active match in which we did a lot of stuff and a lot of showcases of what this plane is definitely good at. The armament of this plane of course is fantastic and couple that with some great dive characteristics. You know, speed in a dive, acceleration in the dive and high speed handling are all good in this plane. So you can definitely rack up the kills when you get to an altitude and that's directly where the problem lies the climb rate of this plane is not that good 
so you will always have planes above you if the opponent climbs. If not, then you have a field day, but if they do, then you're gonna be in for uh, some trouble because it doesn't really turn really well either. The roll rate is alright, but um, yeah, you definitely want to fight in the vertical with this plane. And uh, if you can't get to altitude, then that can be a problem. But in arcade, you can definitely do a lot of compensation with these guns because these guns are fantastic. And the plane can also take a little bit of damage. It doesn't fall apart on the first impact. So all in all, a very interesting boom and zoomer, a very good plane and uh, I've always done well in it. It's a very enjoyable plane to fly and I can definitely recommend it. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed the video, that you learned something there. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, you know, those likes really make a difference. Do leave me a comment, you know, I always look forward to the comments every day. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. I really love to have you aboard and uh, don't feel shy to leave me some comments, I always try to respond to them. So again, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.